Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I went with more of a bombshell type of look. So pretty simple eyes and some bright red lipstick. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, stick around. All right, putting on one of my favorite um, headbands to get my hair on my face. It says suck it up buttercup. Um, excuse my hands. They are super orange because I used the, uh, the conditioner for my uh, red hair in the shower and it does stain a bit and I didn't realize that that would as well um, so you'll see me laugh several times um, at that for my primer I'm using my Laura Mercier foundation primer in hydrating it's a great primer for those of us with very dry skin I'm trying to hydrate as much as possible to keep from keep that from happening um, only putting a little bit of foundation on I crack up every time I see my hands I'm putting a, a little bit of elf Flawless Satin Foundation. Now I have the color in beige. It's probably a little light for me, especially if I pack it on, but when I'm just doing a light layer, it's not too bad. I am doing a light layer because I'm going to be using a lot of cream product and I didn't want to overdo it and have too much product on my face. I'm gonna do some cream contour and highlighting, so I'm trying to sculpt out my face. We're trying it for the first time and uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what you guys think. Um, I think I probably need a, a, a warmer tone, but anyways, um, for that I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick in the light medium for that. Um, it's a little bit of a too cool tone, I think, um, but I really wanted to practice this technique. So just going in with that stick, and it's double-sided, um, but I'm not really gonna use that light side too much because I have uh, so much tart shape tape that I wanna be able to use that. So using that tart shape tape for the highlighting where I wanna bring out uh, my face a little bit more in the shade Light Beige. Um, so just kinda going in, you'll see me kinda go back and forth because I forget things. <laughs> Um, but at least I have my vanity, so it's all right there. So I'm just going in and where I usually would put my powder product, putting um, that cream product and just using my sponge to blend, blend, blend. So I'm gonna go quite a little bit so you guys can see just how wonderful I am at this. I'm just kidding. All right, as you guys can see, I did add some more product and just keep going in because I'm never satisfied. Of course, it is a new technique and I'm hoping to get some better products and, and try this technique out some more. Um, now, after this, I am gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows, as you can see. Now, I did do a mixture of my eyebrows with the um, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I did the Ash Brown and the Auburn, which I ended up liking that um, a lot. And then I carved out my brows. I wanna get really good at this technique and then I'll probably do a tutorial. For my eyeliner, I'm actually doing my Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in black. It's an okay eyeliner. I just couldn't find my um, my pencil sharpener, so I couldn't use my Urban Decay um, one that I love so much. And then I'm just powdering my face with the Cody Airspun just to give myself a little bit less tackiness. Um, but just a very, very light dusting, nothing too dramatic. And then I'm going in and doing my eyes. I can't, I can't with my hands, guys. Um, going in with the eyeliner, the Fierce Flicks by Ciate. I'm pretty sure I am almost out and I am devastated. I cannot tell you how much I love this. I know I talk about it all the time, 
um, but it is seriously a game changer when it comes to my eyeliner game. Um, now I know I did not do a good job of showing you guys kind of how I achieved this effect, so let me see if I can kind of walk you through it. So you want to pick how big your wing liner, if you're doing something that's dramatic and big like a cat liner, you want to pick a how far, pick about how far you want the line to go out and kind of do a dot and then you're going to take a line from that dot to your outer corner of your eyeball and then the other line you're going to connect with however big you want it in with your um, eyeshadow or not your eyeshadow your eyeliner that's on your actual lid so that's going to give you that dramatic look and make it really seamless now this takes a lot of practice i am by no means perfect at it if you really want to see someone who's wonderful at it nikki tutorials um laura lee's really good at it um beauty by christy or raw beauty christy i think is her name she does a wonderful job if you want to see someone who is wonderful i definitely suggest her channel for sure now of course i did mess up just a little bit so i'm going in with my concealer um, that i used to carve out my eyebrows and just kind of dotted that there and, and just trying to get rid of some of the black that was down there gotta love the beauty sponges they are so wonderful <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in and do my lips next and I am going to be using as a lip liner my essence lip liner and it is in 14 femme fatale it is bright red but for an inexpensive liner I mean it really does work really well you just have to make sure that it's sharpened luckily this was sharpened and I didn't have to go really search for my uh, pencil sharpener but I do really like this one it doesn't bleed and it's really inexpensive. You can get Essence at Ulta, so, um, and not in the Prestige. You can get it over in the drugstore side. So definitely try this out for if you want something that is inexpensive, but that bright, bright red. And it's still gonna do a really, really good, good job. Um, so then for my actual lip color, I am going in with the Annabella by NARS. Um, this is just their regular lipstick. I really love this color, and it has, if you can hear this click, um, a magnetic seal to it and going in with my blush I am going in with shame on you from, from the Sephora brand my absolute go-to ride or die blush I absolutely love it and then for my highlight I'm going in with the Ofra highlighter blissful I've only had this for like a week and I absolutely love it got it from FabFitFun um, and that is one of my absolute favorite subscription boxes of all time because you get more than just beauty products but they send you skincare and lifestyle and my favorite slippers are from there um, and I've got wine glasses that I love from there and pens I mean it's just all sorts of things and then some of my favorite skincare and that's actually where I got my fierce flex eyeliner so such a great box so if you guys have any questions about it you can always talk to me I'm not affiliate or anything like that but I'm just a super big fan <laughs> Um, so going in with that same highlighter on my nose, I went a little ham, so again, <laughs> went in with my Beauty Blender um, to lighten that up. Uh, and then for my eyes, I'm going in with my um, Nikki Tutorials Ofra palette, taking that gold color and putting that on my eye, on my brow bone, and then going in with that pearly color on my inner corner. As usual, I do this almost every single look that I do, um, just because it just makes me pop. Uh, now I'm going to be using the holy grail of my entire collection, which is my Monsieur Big by Lancome Mascara, and it is such a great mascara. If you guys have not tried this, really go out and try it. Um, it is a little spendy. It's going to be one of those prestige products that you would find um, at Ulta, but it is definitely worth it. I do have a few... Um, drugstore ones that I'm going to try here pretty soon, but really if you have the, the money to splurge on this, I definitely would. Um, and I really need to thank my cousins for getting this for me because they didn't know it was my favorite, but it definitely is. So thank you Todd, Sarah, Tegan, and Nora for getting me this for my birthday. And this will about wrap up my look. No falsies today because I really wanted the star of the show to be my lips. And here is the finished product. Um, let my hair down, as you guys have seen it before. Um, I really just wanted to try something with a little bit bolder of a lip, but still I can wear it out and about. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more with something like this, I've got green lipstick, I've got blue, I've got purple. Um, so I can definitely do something a little bit more dramatic that's not quite as um, wearable outside. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.